Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Mice. I got some more gameplay footage for you today. You can see my opponent's team here, but ain't nothing compared to my team. That's right. This is the first game where I can legitimately say, and maybe it's there's probably people watching this that saying that's not even very good, but I can legitimately say that I have what I consider to be a god squad, probably the best team that I've that I've had this early uh, in Madden anyway. I mean, the, the highest I've ever got on my team was a 95 overall last year, where now I'm tapping out about an 89. I'm trying to figure out how to get to a 90. Maybe I got to buy a punter because my punter's like a 79 gold. I don't know how much that really calls it comes into account, but uh, I, I mean I'm sitting on coins. It's not like a, it's a coin issue. I got some coins. I just want, I just need to get something to get over that 90 hump, uh, and I'm really gonna be happy. But this is the first game where, like I said, I, I really feel like I can no longer complain about my opponent's team. And since I've done, since I've been to this point, I, I haven't. I can't say that I've played a game where I was really like, wow, I, I'm, I'm, I'm outmatched here. I was going into these weekend leagues with 86 overall teams, and I was just going and looking at other teams' cards and like, man, you know. I'm saying I had a good, I had good cards. I mean, like I love my secondary the way that it was, but I definitely made some serious improvements. So if you guys want to see more gameplay footage of these type of uh, teams, these God Squad teams, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll sure to do that. Uh, other than that, uh, let's go into the gameplay footage. Um, I spent no money on this team. Uh, this to give you guys a heads up too. I mean, I try to get as many people as I can in the mutt because it's to me the funnest game mode. I'm not doing it because I'm some scab for EA. I just think it's the best game mode by far. Um, I used to be all CFM. If you followed my channel a long time ago, I had all CFM gameplay footage. Uh, but all the leagues I was in always failed. You know what I'm saying? They would fold or something would happen or some BS would happen. So it was like that's something that that, that Mutt doesn't have. Uh, you don't have, you know, you, you can't lose your team. Somebody can't get tired of playing or commissioner can't get lazy or whatever. You know, there's a million reasons that leagues fold and they won't do it here. Um, but either way, I mean, that that's, you know, and, and a regular rank is just garbage. I mean, especially since you have injuries you know what i'm saying if a guy gets injured in real life you can't use them in regular rank like come on man like if i spend 60 dollars for a game don't cut me off when i want to use my favorite players you know what i'm saying what if i'm a huge aaron Rodgers fan you tell me i can't use aaron Rodgers now you know what i'm saying that's just some nonsense you see i run in there by the way i'm not talking much about the gameplay uh, that was a nice little run in there by uh, by russell wilson but uh but either way i mean rank matches are crap complete complete crap you can't change your team. You know what I'm saying? That's completely stupid. At least Mutt, you can change your team however you want. And even in CFM, you can change your team. But if you want your favorite player, but another guy won't give him up, you're stuck. So in Mutt, you can have all your favorite players. There's no reason to not play Mutt. To me, it's the best gameplay mode. I think people that don't play Mutt are maybe a little intimidated because it's a lot of different stuff. Don't be scared, homie. So there we go. We're already on up to seven nothing. I haven't even talked about the game yet. Uh, first quarter, you can see there. I get a nice sack. I just upgraded my uh, my uh, defensive line. That was Solomon Thomas, Gold Solomon Thomas. That's right. I mean, I was just you know I didn't always have um, you know every position on my team isn't a superhero, uh, but they still can play. Like I said, Solomon Thomas is playing on a, a really good defensive line. He's the one making plays. I mean, he's a, definitely a budget beast still. Uh, and the uh, team of the week budget beast guy, uh, Solomon Thomas, who's now an end, is also a monster too. Uh, but here, I'm still trying to drive this ball. Uh, I had a running back rotation going there for a while. I had LeGarrette Blunt, the 91 Mud Hero. Uh, this is Cohen. I think that was supposed to be a toss, but I didn't like what I saw, so I flipped it and went inside for the first. Uh, but if I was running outside, I don't care who's on my team. Tariq Cohen is the back for running outside. If you don't have Tariq Cohen, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> he's just so good. And then Russell Wilson, man, he's just, oh, man, he was just disgusting. I, I love Russell Wilson in real life. And in this game, I'm not a Seahawks, you know, fan or anything like that, a bandwagon Seahawks fan or anything like that. But um, I really like Russell Wilson coming out of college. I remember I wanted the Eagles to get Russell Wilson so bad. I just watched that that John Gruden quarterback thing. Frankenberry three Xbox four sixty. And uh, he just impressed me. Like everything I saw, I was like that guy looks like he's gonna be, you know, a good player. And, and sure enough, I heard the Eagles wanted him, and they just missed out. Somebody snatched him right in front of us. The Seahawks snatched him right in front of us, and we ended up with uh, Nick Foles. This play here, look at this, man. I should have safe caught that. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I could catch it and run away from the guy. Didn't work out. Kick the field goal, and then the guy goes to the quit screen. You know what I'm saying? Like he was really thinking about it. I go ahead and click to get right back into it. It's only ten nothing, but weekend leagues, man, people can quit quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's. I mean, I know there's not a lot of time in, in uh, to play your games, to get your games in, so maybe that's why. But, but to be down 10 nothing and, and think about quitting, you really got to stick it in. Last, last uh, gameplay I put out, I said, um, you know, uh, basically if you're, if you're down a certain amount of points, you should just quit just to, so the next guy can move on. Um, but I do understand the importance of if somebody's better than you, to keep trying because you got to learn you got to learn how to how to stop this stuff for the next game so i guess there's two ways to look at it here man i was almost he almost made a play on that i love my corners um i had um 
who was it? Uh, I had uh, who's the guy? Rob Woodson. I had Rob Woodson for a minute, but I wasn't really too much of a fan of his. He didn't have the elite uh, zone, which is really important to me. I so I have I now have Akeem Talib, who's got the elite zone trait, uh, 91 plus, and I got uh, Richard Sherman. So they're both like six two six three as well, which is just epic. Um, although I can't I can't say that I really know Talib. Talib's a little bit slower than Sherman, which is saying something because Sherman's not that fast. Uh, but I can't say that I really notice uh, Tilly making a lot of plays. My safeties do, though. I still got Cam. Still rocking Cam, even though he's even injured in real life. Still rocking Cam Chancellor and Mud here, and I'm still rocking uh, Steve Atwater. Those are some nasty cards. Uh, Steve Atwater especially. I mean, he's just the best. So this year, look at that, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Fourth and inches, the dude goes for it, safe catches it. Oh, man. Toe taps it. That was just nuts. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not your day. So, and that's not even the biggest embarrassing spot. You're going to see something later in the game. I promise you it's going to be way more embarrassing than that. So, 20 seconds left. I'm thinking I can still get some points here. We got that X route up top, and he gets picked. You know what I'm saying? That there, if I would have floated it, probably would have been a good thing. Uh, but yeah, what are you going to do? So, uh, you know, if it, it is what it is. I'm taking a shot. You know what I mean? Maybe if I would have floated up, though, I think he would have ran under it and caught it. Evan Ingram was the tight end I had before this. I actually got rid of him just to get some more coins. Uh, but he's definitely one of the best tight ends in the game. I don't know. He might be better than the two than the two that I had. I tried Kellen Winslow, the 93 year old Kellen Winslow. Uh, I didn't give him a lot of time because I went with the Tony Gonzalez, who was just a little bit faster. But um, I put Evan Ingram as a mutt card, um, the, the most feared mutt card, right on par with those guys. If he was just a little bit taller, a little bit better blocker, he might have been. He might have kept with my tight end, but it's a fumble. Fumble liar. you see the nice big hit stick jarring the ball out of number 12 there. That was a big uh, hit. Uh, but yeah, two more cards that you really need to get are the most feared Ingram and the most feared uh, Tree Cohen. Not expensive at all. Definitely worth it. Here, I actually put uh, Ingram in the fullback spot. Um, I typically put Cohen, but he still does a good job because he can still block a little bit. Cohen, sometimes I'll put him out there because you can. Um, so here, we're just going to go. We're going to bust to the outside. Like I said, Tree Cohen, man. This dude is so fast. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that juke. And they're just falling on my heels. Nothing's gonna nothing's gonna change that, man. I mean that <laughs> this dude is just he's just he's just the best running back in the game in my opinion. I, I can't think of another running back. Maybe LaDane Tomlinson all the way up to ninety four. Uh, might be better, um, but for my money, if you you know if you don't want to spend all them coins, or you gotta you know wait forever to build it, it's much better to just go with the Tariq Cohen, uh, who's for like th probably less than 30k right now in coins. So definitely a must-have mud card. If say you're starting mud late, that's definitely a guy you want to go get. And like I said, I got a really good team, and he still makes a lot of plays, or still plays for me uh, with an almost 90 overall squad. So uh, he's that he's a must-have and a great kick returner too. So third and one, he beats me up the sideline. Sherman, man, you getting burnt? You getting burnt out there, Sherman? You know what I'm saying Sherman is such a playmaker. I, I, I would never, I would never disrespect him like that. Uh, basically, every Seattle player that gets injured is firing a home in my squad. You're never out on my squad. <laughs> you can always finish the season with me. So first and ten, is Ziggy Ansa, the the gauntlet. Ziggy Ansa, definitely another must-have guy. Probably the best one you can get on there. Um, Stephen Gilmore was pretty nice for a while, but now Stephen Gilmore doesn't even sniff the field <laughs> at this point. Uh, Solomon Thomas with another sack. What did I say about that guy, man? 77 gold Solomon Thomas getting a sack and a half so far in this game uh, with a whole quarter to go. Like I said, that guy, man, he's, like I said, I don't care what overalls are. A lot of times I will start guys based on the fact that they're just better players. You know what I mean? Solomon Thomas, prime example. Fourth and three, though, this guy keeps the drive going. He's still fighting. You know what I'm saying? The guy looked like he almost quit, but now he's definitely he's running to hurry up he's trying uh we got this little nonsense double drag here which doesn't really work anymore he had a guy right in the middle there i was kind of in the area but he probably could have got to him as we see another sack i don't know if that was solomon thomas though uh we're using solomon thomas now on the outside he's trying to chuck it up and we're gonna get a nasty animation but no <laughs> almost almost well every time the ball's in there it always it, against me if the ball goes in there that stuff's coming down uh but i don't get to look back so here he's going right up the middle here Good look on a cover two, but it didn't work out. I'm running a lot of cover two days, a lot of Tampa two. And the reason I started doing that is because somebody was smacking me up with it. Not really smacking me up, but uh, somebody was definitely getting the better of me, making it really hard to move. So I started really using uh, more Tampa twos out of the nickel. It's definitely effective. Um, but you still got to get heat, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the thing that you don't get from Tampa twos. You don't really get a lot of pressure. So this year, what kind of throw is that? You know what I'm saying? Russell Wilson. You almost got benched, so <laughs> not really. On the first game, you almost got benched because of that throw. So fourth and seven, I'm punting it away, and I don't typically show a punt unless something happens. So you know something's going to happen here. You see I get a nice coffin corner down to the seven. You know, could have been a little better. You know what I'm saying? I've done it inside the one, two, whatever. 
Um, but that's a good play. So here we go. Now he's getting pushed back. As we it was, were basically guessing run blitz, and he's barely getting out here. You know what I'm saying like he was he was he was stepping in that end zone for a long time, a little bit more than I'd be comfortable with. So here he's gonna throw it out. Yeah, my man, you gotta go grab that get for that pick. So fourth and eleven. Guess what? This guy's gonna go for it, and wow, that is crazy. Are you serious? Like I've never. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Dan Orlovsky stepping out in Detroit. Yeah, you quit, bro. Like, you just had to embarrass yourself a little bit before you left, I guess. Uh, but that's just one of the, the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, and that's it, man. Gameplay over. If you want to see more gameplay footage, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.